Hi guys, today I show you how to make a pumpkin spice latte. I don't care, I know it's only September 5th, but it's fall already. I don't care, no matter what people say for me, it's already fall. And if you don't want to make the face right here, you can make that one. I made the two versions in the tutorial, so you can make both. So this one only has a little pumpkin instead of the face. And don't worry, if you don't like crocheting fuzzy yarn like that, you don't have to do it. You can use classic white shiny yarn. I had a lot of testers doing with only shiny yarn and the result is, is very nice as well. So don't worry about that. So as usual, you can find the free version of the pattern on my blog, crochetpinkpumpkin.com. But if you want to support me, but also make your life easier, you can buy the PDF file. It's available on my Etsy. The link is in the description and you will have a lot of features. You will have the list of supplies, everything. So it will make your life easier and you can also support me. By the way, talking about my Etsy shop, you can find my new fall collection. You see, I made a little yarn right here. So go check it out. Everything is on my Etsy shop. And thank you so much. If you decide to support, it really, really helps. And now let's get started with the list of supplies. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. So for the supplies, the links are in the description. Just so you know, they are affiliate links. That means I make a small commission if you push purchase sorry from the links but the price is exactly the same for you so you don't have to worry about it also if you live in europe i listed similar yarn available in europe on my blog also as long as the weight category is respected you can pick the yarn ball of the brand that you prefer if you want to have a similar result as mine. So the weight category is very important. If you get something thinner or thicker, the proportion are going to be off. So yeah, just as long as the weight category is respected. And for this pattern, all my shiny yarn, so the Parfait Chunky and the Honey Bunny are weight category 6. You will need a hook 7 mm for the full pattern. Then for the orange, for the cup, I use Parfait Chunky from Premiere in color Tangerine. You will need less than one skein. Then for the whipped cream, I used white shiny yarn Parfait Chunky from Premiere, doubled with little bunnies, that is a fuzzy yarn. If you don't like crocheting fuzzy yarn, it's okay. You can crochet the whipped cream only with classic white shiny yarn and that will look very good as well. Then for the cup holder I use Honey Bunny from Obi website. The color is called Nougat. And then I use some yellow shiny yarn for the sprinkles but don't buy the full skein if you don't have it at home already because that will go to waste. Like I, I only used a little bit. So I don't want you to buy the full skein. It's just for the sprinkles. You can use like yellow acrylic yarn or yellow cotton yarn instead of the shiny yarn it's okay and then for the cinnamon stick I use Parfait Chunky Premier in shiny yarn so same thing I really didn't use a lot so don't buy the full skein and the color is called Teddy Bear Outside of the yarn you will need some stuffing you will need darning needles uh, I used curved one because I think it's easier to sew plushies with curved one but you can use classic darning needles the links are in the description for the curved one if you would like to give it a try then I sewed with white cotton thread you can also use hot glue or craft glue if you don't like sewing I also used a lap counter stitch markers and sewing clips if you don't like sewing clips you can use you know the clips that you use uh, for your laundry <laughs> then if you decide to make the little face you will need pink shiny yarn for the cheeks so i use ballet, ballet pink from premiere then thin black cotton yarn for the smile and 16 millimeter kawaii safety eyes i bought them on amazon if you decide not to make the face and you want to make the pumpkin instead, I use the orange shiny yarn that I use for the cup. So Premier Perfect Chunky in Tangerine and some green ac acrylic yarn for the little stem. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. 
So the following video is a step-by-step -step tutorial to crochet the pumpkin spice latte. You can get the written pattern on my blog for free, or if you prefer the PDF, PDF file, you can get it on my Etsy shop. The links are in the description and thank you so much if you decide to support. I will explain each round verbally. For more instruction and picture, please refer to the written version of the pattern. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader in the settings. And lastly, the number in parentheses written with the rounds or the rows is the number of stitches to have at the end of this round or of this row. Let's get started and let me know if you have any questions. So let's start with the cup. You will need your hook 7 mm and orange shiny yarn. So you start by making a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Also, to avoid breaking the yarn, I will recommend you to close the ring little by little and don't wait until the last single crochet to close it. So you see, I made two single crochet, I close a little bit. One other single crochet, I close a little bit more. Because if you wait until the last single crochet, you will see it will break the yarn. So after the six single crochet, make sure the ring is totally closed and make six increases. So one increase is two single crochet in the same stitch and you will have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. So now we will start a series of increases. So round three is one single crochet, one increase six times. You will have 18 single crochet at the end of the round. Then round four is two single crochet, one increase six times. You will have 24 stitches. Round five is three single crochet, one increase six times to have a total of 30 stitches at the end. And lastly, you will make round six, four single crochet, one increase six times to have a total of 36 stitches at the end of the round. So once you are done with round six, you should have 36 stitches. We will start round seven. It's in the back loop only. So you see, I showed you where is the back loop and you will make one single crochet in each stitch, only in the back loop. Now you can grab your lap counter because we will make nine rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. So once you're done with your nine rounds of one single crochet in each stitch, you should have something that looks like that. And we will make round 17, that is 17 single crochet, one increase, twice. So you start by making 17 single crochet, then you make an increase, so two single crochet in the same stitch. And again, you make 17 single crochet and an increase. And to make sure you didn't make a mistake, at the end of the round, you should count 38 stitches.
then grab your lap counter again. We will make four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Now we will make round 22. It's 18 single crochet, one increase, two times. So you start by making 18 single crochet, then you make an increase, and again you make 18 single crochet, one increase. And at the end of the round, make sure you have 40 stitches. After that, we will need the lap counter again because we are making three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. And for the last round, it will be only in the front loop, so right here, and you make one single crochet in each, each stitch, but only in the front loop. And that's your last round, so you should have something that looks like a cup. Once you are done, you can cut the thread and make an invisible finish and stuff the cup. So an invisible finish is to create like a fake stitch. So I will show you on the video how to, how to make it happen. And you will see it makes the finish look more discreet. So for the cup holder, you will need a hook 7mm and brown shiny yarn. So you start by making 9 chain stitches.
So now you skip the first chain stitch and start crocheting in the second one from the hook. So right here and you make one single crochet in each stitch. So you will have eight stitches at the end of the, of the row. And at the end of this row, you will make a turning chain that will help you to turn. So here you are done with your eight single crochet, you make a turning chain and you turn your work. And now you can make one single crochet in each stitch. Don't crochet in the turning chain, okay? This is only used to turn. So you make one single crochet in each stitch that will give you a total of eight single crochet. And you make a turning chain at the end to turn. And for the rest of the cup holder is very easy, you will repeat row number two, so the one you just made, until the cup holder can almost fully wrap around the cup. So you will stop making rows when the cup holder almost fully wrap around the cup. So I will show you on mine how it look like. So you see, I will try to wrap it around. And if it looks like that on yours too, you can stop crocheting the rows. But don't stop crocheting, don't cut the <laughs> yarn. And now to create a nice border, we will make one single crochet in each stitch around these three edges. So first edge, second edge, third, uh, second edge, third edge, right here. So we will make one single crochet in each stitch around these edges. And yes, you will see, we'll create a nice, uh, a nice border and a nice finish. So once you are done creating the border, we will do a classic finish, which is like cutting the yarn and pass it through the loop. You try to keep approximately 15 inches of yarn because we will use it later during the assembly. So for the decor on the cup holder, you have two options. You can make the little face or you can make the little pumpkin. Let's start with the face. So you will need two 16 millimeter safety eyes. So I use the Kawaii eyes from Amazon and you will place them 2.5 inches apart. Don't make them too close from each other. Don't make them too far because it can really change the the look <laughs> of the latte, you know. Then with pink shiny yarn and a darning needle, we will embroider two cheeks under the eyes. I recommend you to pass the shiny yarn twice in the same stitch to make uh, the cheeks a little bit thicker. Thank you. 
And then with thin cotton thread, uh, black color, and a darning needle, we will embroider the smile in the middle of both eyes. First create the entire line, so like that. So you can make a knot to make sure it stays in place. So this is what I call the main line. And then I used thin sewing thread. So you don't have to use sewing thread if you don't have it at home. It's okay, you can use cotton thread. I just like it better because I feel it's more discreet. And I will pull that main line down a row to create an arc. And to make sure it stays in place, I just, you know, make a will make a little knot. So I'll show you on the video how to do it. You just like create a little stitch to make sure that it stays in place like that. So make sure to make a knot, make sure everything is secure and voila, this is your little face. Super cute, super kawaii. And then I will show you how to make the little pumpkin if you don't want to make the face. So you will need your hook 7mm and orange yarn, so the same one that you use for the cup. And you make a magic ring with six single crochet in this ring. As I said earlier, don't forget to close your ring little by little. Don't wait the last single crochet to, to close the ring. Now for the last row, we will make one increases in each of the next four single crochet. So one increases is two single crochet in the same stitch and you will make four increases. So that will give you eight stitches at the end of the row, round. So once you are done with your four increases, you should have something that looks like a pumpkin. You cut the thread, you make an invisible finish to make it uh, more discreet and I will show you on the video how to make an invisible finish. So on top of the pumpkin, you should see there is a side that is a little bit flatter, is where you didn't make increases. So it's where we will attach a little stem. So I show you with acrylic yarn how to place the little stem. So you can just watch the video to see how I made it happen.
And now you can sew or uh, glue the little pumpkin on the cup holder right in the middle. So you know me, I got lazy, so I decided to glue it right here, right in the middle. So now we will make the whipped cream. So you will need a hook 7 mm and white fuzzy yarn double with white regular shiny yarn. If you don't like crocheting fuzzy yarn, it's okay. You can crochet only with shiny yarn and this is what I will do on the video because like that we see the stitches better. So you start by making 15 chain stitches. So now you skip the first chain stitch and start crocheting with the second one from the hook, so right here, and you make 14 single crochet. So for the rest of the whipped cream, we will never make a turning chain at the end of the row. We will simply turn our work. So right here. And now we will only crochet in the back loop. So right here, only in the back loop. And row number two is in the back loop only. One increase. So you start by making one increase. You put a stitch marker on the first stitch. It helps. Then 11 single crochet. And once you are done with your 11 single crochet, you will make one decrease. So still in the back loop. We will only crochet in the back loop now. So here, one decrease. So this is the end of row number two. And you will turn your work without making a turning chain. And row number three is in the back loop only. You start by making one decrease. So I put a stitch marker on the first stitch. So you start one decrease, then you make sing 11 single crochet. Sorry. And on the last stitch, you will make one increases. So one decrease, 11 single crochet, one increase. So this is row number three. Right. So turn your work, no turning chain, and we will repeat row number two and row number three until the whipped cream measure 30 inches. So here you see I'm making row number two again. So I start by one increase, 11 single crochet, one decrease, only in the back loop. And then after row number two, we will make again row number three, which is only in the back loop, one decrease, 11 single crochet, one increase. And you do that until you measure 30 inches long. Voilà, so after quite some time, it should look like that. 30 inches long of whipped cream and you can end the row by making a classic finish. 
And now with yellow and orange shiny yarn, we will embroider sprinkles. So try to make them a little bit everywhere and to keep them small. Don't make them too large, it, it will not be nice. So now what we will do, we will place stuffing as shown on the video right in the middle of the whipped cream and we will fold the whipped cream in half horizontally. And you see I used sewing clips to keep it folded right here so you, you keep the stuffing inside. You make like a little tube. Now with white cotton yarn and a darning needle, we will sew along the edge following the clips. And also don't forget to sew the ends like I, I do right now on the video to make sure the, the stuffing doesn't come out.
So now we will create the shape of the whipped cream. I think it looks like a poop a little bit until you put it on the cup, but you know, it's okay. So we will wrap the whipped cream on itself and sew it to create the shape. So you see, I, I roll it like that. And then I will insert just like wooden sticks to keep the shape together because you know, while you will sewing it, you will, you will need something to keep the shape together. And uh, so I use wooden sticks that I found in my kitchen, but you can also use um, knitting needles if you have it at home. And now with the white cotton thread and the curved needle, I will pass the thread back and forth to make sure everything stays in place. Voilà, so you should have something that looks like that. You see, I told you, it looks like a poop a little bit. And now we will make the cinnamon sticks. Y so you will need a hook, seven millimeter and brown chenille yarn. And you make five chain stitches to start. So now skip the first chain stitch and start crocheting in the second one from the hook and now you can make four single crochet. So once you are done with this row, do not make a turning chain, simply turn your work. And you can grab your lap counter because we will make three rows of one single crochet in each stitch. So for this three rows, it's the same thing as row number one. Do not make a turning chain, simply turn your work and start crocheting in the first stitch from the hook. So once you are done with these three little rows, you can do a classic finish and keep 15 inches of yarn. Then you will fold the little um, square in half and you will sew both ends together. So you see I use a darning needle and I will just make sure it stays uh, folded so it creates a little tube. And once you are done with your first cinnamon stick, don't forget to make a second one. So now for the assembly, let's wrap the cup holder around the cup and use, you remember the 15 inches of yarn. Let's use it to sew both ends together like that. 
And after sewing both ends together, I didn't sew it uh, more than that around the cup. But if you want, you can use white cotton thread to sew it more all around. So now we will sew the whipped cream to the cup and I use the back loops of round 26 of the cup right here. So the back loops to sew the whipped cream to the cup. So you see I went back and forth between the whipped cream and the back loops of round 26. I just like it better. We can use, uh, we can use both loops but I just think it's more discreet if you only use the back loop. So now we will sew the cinnamon sticks. So make sure they are placed on the side. So I place them on the uh, left side and also make sure they are visible from the front. So now we are officially ready for fall. Thank you so much for following this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you very, very soon. Bye bye.